AI audio is less mainstream than applications of artificial intelligence in video, text, or images, but the tide is turning. In 2019, Mark Andreessen, entrepreneur and founder of very famous VC firm Andreessen Horowitz, stated that audio is becoming titanically big. In this video, I want to share seven key applications of AI audio in a number of different industries to let you understand the scope of this incredibly fascinating field and its potential. Let's get started. The first application is voice interfaces. Now, this is something that we are already somewhat familiar with because we all have Google phones or iPhones or Alexa devices and we can interact with these devices through our voice. The basic technologies that power voice interface are speech recognition, so that these devices can understand what we say, and then speech synthesis, which basically enables them to talk us back and answer our question. The great advantage about voice interfaces uh, in contrast to screen-based interfaces is that they are completely hands-free and eyes-free. What this means is that we can multitask. So you can talk to your phone, for example, while you are walking or while you are driving. Now, voice interfaces, I believe, are going to grow quite a lot, definitely because we are, unfortunately, in a COVID world and all interfaces with touch screens in uh, public areas are going to be a little bit problematic, obviously. So voice interfaces have a big opportunity to grow big. The second AI audio application that I want to talk about is security surveillance. The basic idea here is that you have a system that can map out an area. It could be a public area like streets or it can be a private property. And what happens is that if something bad is happening, then the system recognizes like that something weird is happening and then it can notify uh, like the owner of a property or police. Say for example, like in a street, you have like some street brawls or gunshots get fired. So the system picks up like those cues and then it notifies police so that it can take quick action. Now, uh, security surveillance isn't new and we have video security surveillance and AI systems that do that. But the problem with those systems is that they are somewhat affected by light, lightning like conditions. So during nighttime, you can't really like see what's happening if you're using like normal cameras. And the other problem is that you are, if you're trying to map large areas, you need a lot of cameras, expensive equipment, and then you have to coordinate that. And also the basic idea is that video processing is quite computational expensive. By contrast, you can use like acoustic surveillance and there you probably just need like a single microphone or a simple system of microphones and you don't need to care about like lightning conditions nor you need to uh, take care like of different locations where you have necessarily like to point the different cameras. A third application that's somewhat connected to acoustic security surveillance is that of rainforest conservation. Now, this is not an application that's going to make you billion, uh, billions of dollars, but it's extremely important for the safety of our planet and to fight against climate change. I was reading a paper a couple of days ago where uh, this research has developed an AI audio system which was able to identify different types of sound from the rainforest. And the basic idea was that you have like the normal rainforest sounds and it's all good and well, but you this system is also trained to recognize chainsaw activity. And usually chainsaw activity in the rainforest is associated with some uh, people who are cutting down trees illegally. So now imagine you can map out the entire rainforest with a bunch of microphones and when something bad is happening or people in other words are cutting down trees uh, the authorities get notified so they can take quick action and stop the illegal activity. A fourth interesting application of AI audio is baby monitoring. The idea is that you want to check out that your baby is just doing fine. So you can have a system where you have like a microphone that records in real time the sounds produced by the baby and then like an intelligent classification system that just classifies the types of sounds produced by the baby. So this is interesting because basically like these systems are capable of recognizing whether like a baby is just like, I don't know. 
uh, sleeping well or if the baby is, is crying and then it can the system can notify you but it also goes like one step further and it, this some of these systems can also analyze the breathing patterns of the baby and check if there are irregularities and then uh, just like notify you so that you can intervene quickly. Another industry that's going to be impacted by AI audio technology is health. We already have a bunch of applications, experimental applications, I should say, that are capable of making diagnosis for COVID based on the sound of your coughing. Now, this is not entirely a new idea because doctors have always listened to the way you cough in order to get an idea of what type of disease you may have. We now know how important it is to have fast COVID diagnosis turnaround in order to keep the virus at bay. Now, uh, researchers at Cambridge University have developed this app called uh, COVID-19 Sounds App. So you can download it, you can cough into the app so that the, the sound of your cough gets uh, recorded and stored in a database. And you can also provide information anonymously uh, about whether you have COVID or you don't have. And the basic idea is that researchers are gonna use like this information to, to train a classifier that's gonna be able to say whether you have uh, COVID or you don't have it based off only like the sound of your cough. Obviously, I don't think this is going to be like a perfect diagnosis system, but it's going to be like a quick system that's going to help out to at least like have a first screening of people and checking whether they may or may not have uh, COVID. AI audio is also going to have a huge impact on the entertainment industry. Here I want to talk about a very interesting use case, which is that of automatic video dubbing. Imagine that every single minute only on YouTube, you have more than 500 hours worth of video that get uploaded onto the platform. So the problem with that is that, I mean, uh, people can't talk or can't understand most of the languages out there, which basically means that they can't have access to a lot of videos just because of a language barrier. With AI audio technologies like text-to-speech, we can now automatically dub videos, and this is gonna have a significant impact on video accessibility for people all over the world. The final application that I want to talk about in AI audio is anomaly detection. This is extremely important in manufacturing, Whenever you have industrial machines really or production lines. And the basic idea here is that you have a system that can notify you when a machine is not working uh, properly. Now, this is not a new idea and you have a lot of video processing, AI and video, AI and image systems that do anomaly detection. But even here you have like certain problems. Lightning is one, right? So if you are like in a situation where everything is dark, it's difficult for a normal camera like to actually uh, understand what's going on. And also uh, cameras can't really get inside like a certain parts or components of the machine. So it's just like impossible to access certain elements of the machine. Now you can use sound and the basic idea is to use airborne uh, noise. In other words, like the noise that's produced by the machines. And the, the kind of intuition here is that usually when the machine is working properly, it has a certain type of sound, but then if you have a dysfunction, then that sound is going to change. And an AI audio system is going to be able to pick up that change. And that change is an anomaly. And that anomaly can be notified. And when you notify anomalies, it's, it's, it's a great win. That's because you're going to just like decrease machine downtime, which in turn means like you're going to save money and you're going to save time and be more productive. Okay, so these were seven applications of AI audio in a number of different industries. Please understand that I've only scratched the surface here and that there are way more applications and the opportunities are really growing by the day. I hope you have enjoyed the video. If that's the case, please remember to leave a like. I'm also quite curious to know whether you can think of other AI audio applications, perhaps you've worked on those or perhaps it's something you are dreaming to working on moving forward. So please let me know in the comment section below. That's all for today. Thank you very much for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Cheers.